Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Now in this Xcode tutorial I'll be doing MF Mail or in-app email which has been requested uh, quite a lot to me so I decided I'm just going to do it now. Um, so I'm in Xcode here, view based application. Uh, I'm going to call mine MF Mail because that's the actual thing Apple calls it, the, the framework that we're going to be using. Just save it to my desktop there. Um, I'm going to click unlock, don't know what that meant. <laughs> um, all right, so press the enlarge button here. So, sorry, ignore the bird in the background. Uh, it's temporary. Uh, that's if you can hear it. I don't know if you can. Um, anyway, um, okay, so first of all, we need to add the message UI framework. So we need to go up here to the build phases, go to link binary with libraries, and then just go down here, click plus, and type in message UI framework, there you go, that's it. Double click on that, now it's in our app. So I'm just going to drag it down into my frameworks folder, just because. And um, I'm just going to take you through this now. Uh, so what we're going to be looking for in this framework is the MF Mail Compose View Controller and the MF Message Compose View Controller. So as you can see here, if I click on this, you've got all these set to recipients. So that basically says... Uh, who you're going to send it to, who's it sending to, that's your carbon copy recip uh, recipient, sorry, and your BCC, black carbon copy, and set your message body. Uh, so there's all sorts of stuff in here that we're going to be using. So I just, before I actually do the proper code, I just wanted to let you know where we're getting all these methods from. We're getting them from these two files here. And then this ball up here, can send mail, is going to be used to, if you can't send the mail, then we're going to display an alert, because that's what Apple says, you have to display an alert if it can't send the mail, because it causes user confusion. Uh, so again, if we go in here, there's the result failed one that we're going to be using. Um, and yeah, so now what we need to do is get this message UI framework into our uh, .h that we're going to be using. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to import... Then we're going to go into open carrot instead of those quotes. We're going to go into our framework. So it's message, message, <laughs> oh dear, I can't spell, message, UI, forward slash, MF, mail, composer. Let's have a look. I can't remember the name. Uh, MF, mail, compose view controller dot h there we go um all right and then we need to incorporate the delegate that's found in this view so we're just going to go mf mail compose view controller delegate like that and of course we need an action so to open our email so i'm going to create an action here i definitely can't spell today open email is what i'm going to call it and semicolon so i'm going to go to the dot m here and I'm going to type out my shortcut, MF Mail, and there we go, there's my uh, there's my code snippet. I don't know, it's kind of cheating, but whatever. So, first of all, this all this code will be in the description, um, so I'm just going to walk you through it now. So, first of all, we open the MF Mail and set the preferences, that's what I say anyway. Um, oh, and then, again, there's my action. So, MF Mail Compose View Controller, that's this view down here. We're calling it mail composer, and we're just giving it some memory so we can use its methods. Then we set the mail compose delegate to self, i.e. this view. Uh, and then we go if the mail view controller can send mail. See, there's that ball we're using. Um, then we're going to set the recipients. We're going to set the subject. We're going to set the body, and then we're going to set the style we want it to be, like how it's going to animate. Uh, and then we're going to actually present it on the screen and then we're going to release it. Otherwise, if it can't send mail, we're just going to release it so we don't block up our memory. And then this one down here, the void mail compose delegate. And basically, this is saying if it finished with a result of error, uh, then we've got to let the user know that it didn't send uh, because Apple requests that you do this because if you don't then it won't get accepted into the app store so you can either just basically dismiss the view and that's it just dismiss it which i don't think is the best thing in the world because well the user doesn't know if it's sent or not um so i've incorporated this error thing here 
Now, you'll notice in this void here, there's an error called, an NNS error called error. So if we ask if error, so if there is an error, then we display an alert view telling the user what the error was, then it will be a lot less, uh, it will be a lot clearer to the user that an error has happened. So to do that, we just do the um, alert view here. Then we go into here and for the message, we set it to be an error with the errors description. So I don't know if you knew you could do that, but you can grab this NS error and you can actually get the description that was wrong. So whatever's wrong, it will display it here with a percent at. So I'm just going to go through here now. Uh, I'm going to set the subject, which is just, uh, okay, first of all, I'll set the email. It's going to be email, oops, all of these are NS strings, by the way. So it's email at email.com, or oh, code at UK, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is not going to be sending. Subject is going to be, hi, this is a test. And then the message is going to be, yo, what's up? I don't know. Um, don't ask. I'm just randomly thinking of things. Um, so if you saw there, there were actually parameters that would allow me to change them. Now I set that up in the code snippet that I made. And if you want to know how to do like... Uh, code snippets but advanced because my other code snippet wasn't very advanced my other code snippet tutorial um like you know to create the shortcuts like i just type in mf mail and it comes up with the shortcut if you want to know how to do that just leave me a comment send me a message and i'll create a video on it um you can also change the you know the transition style if you want so mine's at cross dissolve at the moment but if you delete that and press escape you've got um <laughs> ui modal transition style and then you got partial curl, like on the Maps app, where you partial curl up. Flip star horizontal, cover vertically. I personally like the cross dissolve, so I'm going to keep it as that. I've already explained all of that. I'm going to just going to quickly set the title here to uh, error. Um, and yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go into the dot nib here. Just going to set my bring out my button wherever that is. Here it is. Um, open email. I'm just going to connect it up here, open email, and there we go. So I'm just going to build and run here, and we should see our new app with our open email. Um, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys. Again, all code will be in the description, and if you want any, um, any questions, just ask me, uh, because I'll answer them as best as I can. So we click open email here. We have a nice fade in there. You can see we've got our email here, um, we've got our subject here. We can set the carbon copy and black carbon copy um, in the view controller just like we set the email here. Um, and we can set the uh, message body here. So as you can see, we can type in here as well if we wanted to. We can click cancel and delete and there you go, it's cancelled. And then we can click send and it will just send but obviously that's not a real email. So I'm just going to do a quick error for you here. So if we click open email again, but instead if I just delete my email and then just type in a random bunch of letters and then try and click send, it will tell me the actual error. So, you know, instead of actually, you know, just saying, oh, they can't send the email, it will actually tell me the error. It goes, Shh, does not appear to be a valid email address. So click cancel will take us back to the app. However, if we click send again, just click send anyway, it will actually send the email. So it completely changes our uh, our actual alert view depending on what happens. Now, I'm not sure if this will work or not. No, it doesn't work. Um, but, you know, if I didn't have any internet connection or something, then it would display a different email. So there you go. That's how you do that nice um, just alert view thing there that thought it will be better for you to know. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, that's just my quick thing on MF uh, mail and how to do in-app email. So hope that helps. Hope that uh, fixed a lot of people's problems. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I post all new videos that I'm doing on there. Uh, a little pop-up annotation should appear on the screen now. Um, and yeah, don't forget to click on ads in some of my videos because that also helps. And again, see you in my next tutorials.